Hi, Layla Black here with DG, and we're here at the second annual Haunted Group Shoot in Newport, Kentucky, hosted by Mortified Zone Babe and Rocky Doll 2. Fortunately for us, I was able to pull aside the photographer here. What is the significance of the event? I would say that the significance of this event is basically to celebrate the originality and history of the building in the first place. Um, the fact that there's a lot of, of history here that it's just an amazing place to, to hold a group shoot. There is a great opportunity for brand new models to kind of get into the scene and kind of get their feet wet a little bit, kind of taste test, you know, what it's like to work with different photographers. So. The group shoot is basically set up for test shooting and getting to know different people and networking and stuff like that. Well, that's, that's really awesome, actually. Um, this is the second one. Uh, was it here for the first one, too, at the same place? It was, as a matter of fact. Uh, our, very, our very first uh, haunted group shoot was done here. Um, it, was, it was an excellent event. It went uh, together really well. And, has it been a better turnout than last year, or was last year a better turnout? And have you all ever thought about moving it somewhere else? <laughs> Honestly, uh, Rocky Doll is pretty much the one who, who has set up the entire thing. I generally help out with what I can. I uh, run security, or I help out with new models to kind of help people feel comfortable. Um, you know, introduce people to other people, kind of help with the networking, kind of grease the wheels, so to speak, for all the different individuals that are working. Uh, and you know, from the new to the old, and, and, and help everybody kind of like gel together in a way that makes sense to everybody else, and, and creates a good atmosphere for, for creating art. So, you also have your own thing. So, well, why don't you tell us about everything that you have going on? Because it's a lot. I know. It is a lot. Um, well, basically, I've been doing photography for quite a few years. Um, I run stillborn photography for basically. Uh, the underground scene. Uh, the idea behind stillborn photography is basically, uh, okay, so let me break it down a little bit. I'm a musician first off. Um, I'm a drummer, I do industrial music. Um, the title my project is basically Braille Corp. Um, if you Google it, you'll find everything I do. But um, <clears throat> basically I have Braille Corp, that's the music stuff. I have stillborn photography, which is my underground photography stuff. And then I have uh, Braille Corp photography, which is my more socially acceptable photography stuff. Um, I have a, a production company that I just started up called Multivocal Media. Multivocal Media is essentially like music videos, uh, ideas. It's a way for me to express like any of the scripts that I've written. I do a lot of poetry, I do a lot of writing. So a lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll pull from my dreams and pull from my writings and kind of like create ideas in, in which uh, is like a storytelling way for me to kind of speak to people in a way that can really reach those parts of people that people don't let anybody get near. Right. In a way that doesn't, that's not intrusive. You know what I mean? So it's kind of, whatever art, whatever medium you put in my hands, I basically create with. And that's basically why I am. I've always been that way, uh, whether it's painting or photography or music or uh, sound design or script writing or storytelling or um, poetry, like I just, I have a lot of thought that I always have to get out and, and you know, it's basically like my love, my drive for people that that kind of uses these tools to, to reach. You're an incredibly, incredibly busy man. Like you live to work. <laughs> How do you find time for your friends and family? Like what do you like to do when you're not doing all of that? I usually include all my friends in what I do, um, so long as they're willing to do it. I mean, my thing is has always been to create a connection within like the spirit of everybody and kind of create like a, a, a like there's nothing okay there's a lot that goes unsaid in the world and if you can create a network in the personification of each individual human that attaches and speaks on levels that the words can't reach then you've created something that's like amazing. So I involve all my friends in what I do, and I get part, I become part of their projects, they become part of my projects. It's a it's a it's a family thing. So uh, basically, my entire drive and, and that is 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 part of my social life, my my non-working 
because it's not work to me. It's very natural. It's very flowing. It's very um, personable. And you know, no matter what situation everybody I know is in, and the things that they've gone through, and the things that they battle with, and all that, it's like we're we're all in a war together. You know what I mean? And it's creating that situation where you you basically have to let everyone know that you're all part of the same family and build and fight for what, whatever you need to survive. So it's it's all about connection. So that that is my relaxing time. My other time is at a job working my tail off and making the bucks and paying the bills and whatever. But that's just, yeah, every human's got to do that.